What's up guys? Back for another vlog here. Uh, not too too much going on. Nothing overly exciting. Just gonna do an oil change and, and talk with you guys. Uh, I got a comment on one of the last videos saying all I do is post racing stuff now. And I'm sorry if you don't like all the racing stuff, but I do like to record that. And when there ain't shit going on, I really don't have anything to record. I spent all my money on coilovers and I gotta get these strut mounts cut and DCC deletes. I should be able to get the deletes ordered tomorrow. Hopefully my buddy still has them, didn't sell them yet. But I'm gonna run down. I got uh, oil the other day at Walmart, but I didn't get enough. I totally forgot I was in a rush. So I'm gonna go grab another quarter of oil. Swap this oil out real quick. Um, making a list too. I need to get Haldex stuff to do and high temp brake fluid and brake lines. That'll be the next stuff after the coil over. So I'm rounding all that together, get an order in. I'll show you guys how to do the, the Haldex fluid and, and stuff here soon. So that'll be that'll be cool. Getting some miles in on this girl. I got her with 8,000 miles and now we're at 52. That's crazy. It's been roughly two years since I got the car. I got the car October uh, two years ago, so a little over two years. And uh, I love every minute. She's my baby. You can see here where I do all my oil changes here. Uh, 52,000 is where we need it. And we're literally right on that. So, just in time. I normally do my oil changes about 5,000. And especially with, because we're going up to Denver for New Year's and probably a few other things right there in the beginning of the year. So, I want this oil change done, out of my mind. I'm back and order my Haldex stuff and do my brake stuff. Get 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 all this stuff in line for for next season. But I'm extremely excited to get these fucking coilovers in. I guess I got about two weeks until the order comes in due to upgrading to Swift Springs. It adds like another three week lead time onto the uh, the the purchase whatever. So so got a couple more weeks, but hopefully everything will line right up and I'll have everything done and ready. Uh, once they come in the mail, I'm super excited, like super fucking excited. We're gonna have to install them, get the ride height down, and then corner balance. I have to find somebody to corner balance and then do the alignment uh, properly. I think I'm gonna stick with like two, two point something degrees of camber in the front. Fix the uh, what's it called, the toe in the rear, and a few other things. Might have to get uh, camber arms for the rear as well. Maybe throw a couple degrees of camber back there. We'll see how that looks uh, once she's actually on the track and get everything sorted. I don't know how, uh, how much stiffer the rear is going to be, but I might have to switch the sway bar back to its lower setting as well. Um, I don't know. I'm just really excited to get these bitches here and in into the track. One of my favorite things about these cars, it's so easy to do an oil change. All you need is a flathead and oil. Damn it. Well, looks like we're going fishing. Usually the drain plug sticks to this, but I pulled out kind of retarded and uh, dropped my plug into the pan. So I'm gonna have to go fishing. Well, while the oil's draining, I decided to take a look at the catch can here. It's pretty, uh, pretty nasty. 
So we're gonna go ahead and dump that too. Tell you what, it sure would have been nice to uh, have a design somehow that you don't have to take off the motor mount bolt every time you empty the catch can. It's kind of annoying. I mean, really, it's only one bolt, but. Oh yeah. That bitch is heavy. This is what it was last time. This is what it looks like when it's all separated. Uh, I'm gonna dump this and then empty out what's in there now. That's only a couple thousand miles. Rough. Now, I'm gonna attempt to find my oil drain plug with a plastic bag over my hand and a glove into this oil pan. Exciting. This is kind of gross. I found it though. Holy shit. This is disgusting. The plan here is just flip this bitch inside out. Get all the oil. Boom. That wasn't too bad actually. This is not sponsored in any way. So I want to give a shout out to Lucas. I do mix this with my oil for peace of mind. I don't use the best oil in the world, but I change it every 5,000 miles. And I also use this. Um, use this on my R32. Now I'm using it on this car. Well, I have been using it on this car. Just, uh, just wanted to show you guys. Lucas is cool. Where I live kind of sucks, but these, these sunsets, these sunsets are beautiful though. The clouds are gorgeous. The video doesn't do it justice. Oil change done. Filter swapped. Catch can emptied. Now it's time to go take a lap. It's 5 o'clock. It's already dark. Um, maybe I'll find somebody to race on my little lap around town here. And then double check the oil level. But there yeah, ain't much going on here. Really sucks. I don't really don't have much, too much content to put out. Uh, like I said, it costs money money to make videos basically um, yeah let's see what we can get into notification from Instagram some dude tagged me in a post it was one of you guys appreciate it um, integrated engineering is looking for a golf R to sponsor so 
I was like, fuck, yeah, this is my opportunity. I can finally get a sponsorship. This would be so fucking cool. Uh, integrated I engineering is the shit, as we all know. So I cooked up a nice email, sent him some pictures, links to the channel, this and that. And he pretty much, he emailed me back like five minutes later, pretty much was like, um, yeah, you're pretty much overqualified for this. You have a hell of a long, long part list and you're already tuned and this and that kind of hurt my feelings I understand but a little upsetting so I shot them to another friend of mine Miami born um, hopefully maybe they'll pick him up I don't know I haven't talked to him in like a day or so but he also is already tuned and has some parts in there so I don't know if you got a golf R and you're watching this and you haven't sent IE an email yet go to their Instagram Check out the post they made. It's like a white golf bar with some text on it and then shoot them. I think it's John at performancebye.com is the email address. Um, yeah, I think they're doing like somewhere near 50% off products and then get tuning and, and all this stuff. So if I were you, I'd try it out. Come here. Come here. Hi, Bob. How are you? Oh, good boy. Shake. Good boy. High five. All right, my boy, yeah. My boy, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. There you go. Such a good boy. Just a good boy. That's the camera. You see your eye? Can we show them your eye? Yeah. Mm, such a good pop.